Well, here we go again. I just started to uh, take this apart and I thought, eh, why not do a little bit of video? It might be interesting to somebody. So anyway, what I'm doing is I've once or twice every year is I'll get a fault code, which is P1516, which is saying throttle position sensor error, and it throws the computer into limp mode. And I've just dealt with it, and because I knew it would happen occasionally. And it did it to me about two weeks ago, and then it did it to me about three days later. So finally I thought, I had enough, I'm just going to throw... A throttle body on it. Well, I thought about the TPS, but then I thought, no, nah, I'm just putting the throttle body on it because that is the original throttle body to the motor. And, you know, it's a money pit. You got this much in it now. Why stop? So, anyway, let me pull the covers off and I'll bring you back. So, I've got the covers taken off of it, and you can see underneath of it, it's a regular. Um, four eight five three six liter truck intake and these covers for those that are interested um, they come off of I believe 2000 to 2004 um, Denali's and Escalades now, obviously I've done some work on these um, you know changing things around it's filled some holes and, you know, change the corner, that kind of thing. And they come factory with a wrinkle finish in them. So it takes a lot of time to clean them up and fill, get the smooth finish like I have. So we'll get back to work on pulling throttle body off. done is I have removed the intake tube, unplugged the MAF sensor, Unplug the TPS harness, and if you can see down in below there, down where my fingers are, I've disconnected the steam tube, which runs through the bottom of the throttle body, and I've also er, undone all three nuts. The throttle body should just slide off to any kind of luck, but no, the heater, heater hose clamp's going to be in the way. So I'll get that off and get the throttle body pulled off. Just a little FYI for anybody that drives something with an LS in it, uh, if you get a code and I can't tell you what it is off the top of my head, but it says uh, uh, either bank running rich. Just take some, uh, I use just carb cleaner and clean down inside the is throttle body as far as you can reach and open the throttle blades and clean it. That that I just showed you is just from wiping inside the uh, the opening of the in of the intake. Where this steam tube comes up through the bottom of the uh, throttle body I did buy a steam tube eliminator or whatever you want to call it it's just a flexible braided hose it's got the blocks which mount to the head and then a quarter pipe or one eighth pipe to barb fitting and I also bought a uh, new rubber flexible hose for the vent tube but I think now that I've got it apart what I'm gonna do is because that's where it originally connected and I bought the new flexible hose for it, which is somewhere here, which is plenty long enough. I think rather than putting the adapter or the eliminator in there, is I'm just gonna run off the original and up to the port and the rad. So I thought just before I put the throttle body on, I'll show that hose running over in the original uh, steam tube, steam port, whatever. And the new hose, of course, isn't quite as good a fit as the old, but uh, anyway, these these clamps, I guess you'd call them. I always hoard them up when I'm at the scrap yards. And I keep them in stock, so I had to add a second one on this, because you can see 
the air conditioning belt is right there. And if you allow this one to float free, it wears through the hose. Ask me how I know that one. Anyway, new gasket. I'll get the throttle body stuck on and get this thing put back together. So as you can see, throttle body back on, TPS plugged in, MAF sensor plugged in, way down in there. I'm not going to put the covers back on tonight. I'll clean them up before I put them back on. And then seems like the only thing to do is when it's light, got a couple of nice days coming up. We'll take it for a little run. I said I was going to put the covers on tomorrow, but I'm no quitter. So I went and threw some cow in the oven. Cleaned up the covers, put them all back on. So we'll hit the key, see if there's a big bang or any flames. That's a good sign. So I think what I'll do is test drive today or tomorrow, and uh, I'll actually put that on a on a different video. A couple other things I want to do. So, till next time, catch you later.